Welcome to Octagon Armory. Right, today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be zeroing up my 243 that I've got. Um, I've got a couple of exciting bits to talk about actually. One being the 243 itself, which is the Remington 700 SPS. Um, I've got the Wildcat mod, the Evolution to go on that. And I've also just got a Zeiss Conquest 3x12x50 to, to put on the 243, which uh, Zeiss have kindly sent me to do a bit of review and a bit of testing on. Um, so yeah, I've had the 243 for quite some time, but I was waiting for the right sort of scope to come along because um, none of the ones I've got at the minute, apart from the Sidewinder ED, which is busy on my ZZ452. Um, so yeah, I finally got a scope sent out to me that I was quite happy to use on the 243. Um, obviously it's suitable for centre fire. Um, so yeah, I'm out today to zero it up. Um, and I'm... <coughs> Excuse me, I've also just learned off of a close friend of mine how to bore sight a rifle. So I'm going to do a video on that because it makes life so, so much easier. I mean, I've tried explaining it to a couple of guys. One guy I know that's just got a 243 himself. Um, and I told him just to do the, the bore sight. That's just so simple. Literally save so many rounds. So yeah, we'll have a little run through with that. I'll have a quick show of the rifle and the mod and obviously the scope. Um, but this is not the review. I'm going to have to do a, a review to follow, and um, hopefully get some footage of some, some uh, hopefully some foxes and rabbits being taken with it. And obviously um, now I've got a deer permission. Uh, the 243 is going to be getting a lot more, a hell of a lot more use. So yeah, stay tuned, guys, and then we'll uh, have a little run through of the kit, and I'll run through how to bore sight a rifle. Stay tuned. Cheers. Right, so this is the this is the setup for today's video, and what I'll be using in my upcoming videos for the deer stalking, foxing, and I may do a few ra rabbit videos with it, but the ammo is not cheap for these, so and plus it'll waste a lot of the meat because I I ship a hell of a lot of my meat out, my rabbit meat out to people. So anyway, this is the Remington. 700 SPS 243 cal got the Zeiss Conquest on top 3x12x50 I mean the glass through this is phenomenal um, obviously it's a completely different price bracket to the scopes that I'm used to using but you can clearly see the difference um, you know I'm not saying that I'm not no longer happy with my Hawk scopes because as, as you all know I absolutely love my Hawk scopes um, but this is just obviously the the sort of like next step up to the to the sort of um, more commercial stuff. Obviously, you've got Zeiss, Smith and Bender, and Leopold that are probably some of the top three best scope manufacturers in the world. Um, and obviously, then you have Hawk, MTC, uh, you've got Nico, and etc. For the for sort of more common sort of stuff, and for the guys that obviously can't afford these these scopes. So yeah, the scopes really really nice to use um, I've looked for it had a little play with it the zoom rings fantastic the glass is fantastic um, very very much so worth its money so I mean for the guys out there that can afford the scope of this kind of price bracket um, I'm not 100% sure on what they retail for because I know the price is vary from shop to shop and online and in stores different so obviously if you was looking at getting one have a look at the price brackets before you try and buy. But this is the Zeiss Conquest 3 by 12 by 50 um, With the rifle, literally only been out with this a couple of times. Um, fantastic rifle to shoot. I've only zeroed it up before, before I got this scope. And then I got the Wildcat mod to put on the end, courtesy of the UK custom shop. Um, which is now my official sponsor which I'm more than happy to say um, and their products are just fantastic I mean I've tested this rifle with and without the the mod the difference is phenomenal so I'm extremely excited to get these on my other rifles i.e. the 2-2 two, two two and the HMR um, and then hopefully the 308 when that comes through on the variation so yeah we'll, um, we'll get set up this is the setup that I'm going to be using and I'll show you how to bore sight. I'm going to be using the Winchester Varmint X. These are the 58 grain. 
Uh, these are ideal for, you know, fox and rabbit. If you was to, you did want to shoot rabbit with this cal caliber rifle. Um, but like I say, I tend to do that sort of stuff with my 22 or my 17 HMR. So I'll probably save these these rounds for the, the fox and deer, to be honest. So yeah, stay tuned guys, and we'll have a run through of that to sight this up. Cheers. All right, so guys, just got my target set up. It's an absolutely perfect spot on this permission for zero in because I've got a lovely, what a nice steep bank here that inclines up here into the next field. This bank, it's not too, you can't really see it too much here, but it's a lovely little incline. So yeah, this is where I set my targets up. Obviously I need a nice safe backdrop. So I've got my target set up here going to mark go back 50 yards so when you're doing this get to get as 50 yards to first bore sight the rifle and then um gradually move your way back so yeah we'll we'll set up at 50 yards back and i'll have a run through of how to how to do this all right guys see so i'm set up at 50 yards exactly now you may ask how do i do that obviously you know that i use the lrf 600 pro uh the hawk side hawk laser range finder so I've set up bang on 50 yards got my target out in the distance and that may seem a little bit further back but obviously with the the camera that stuff I'm using it's bang on 50 yards so then basically what you want to do bolt out with the rifle and then what you want to do it may be a little bit hard for me to show through the camera actually but you want to look through the the bore right through the barrel obviously you need to you need to wedge the rifle up into place so obviously get the rifle into line and then wedge it up with your bag your shooting bags or your bean bags or whatever it is that you're using obviously i have a bipod on the front but if you want to wedge the back end up just use your game bag or whatever you have to hand and then so the rifle doesn't move so that basically what you want to do is obviously because you can see the light not through the camera you can't but you can see the light through the barrel then where the bolts removed so then what you want to do you want to lay down into the prone position and look through the barrel obviously if you're up at a table or wherever it is you're using off the back of your truck look through the barrel through to the target so you can see the you can see the target through the through the barrel and then just slightly raise your head look through the scope to see where the crosses are on the target I mean, when I first done this, I had the target in sight through the barrel. I was lifting my head up to look through the scope, and it was a good inch to the right. So therefore, I had to bring the crosshairs right over to meet up with the target. Um, and basically, then on the first shot, it was on paper. Um, so you know, could have easily saved five. You know, sometimes I mean. I've, I've put 10, 15 rounds for a HMR to get it bang on at zero, and then obviously by the time you start marking that, your distances. But yeah, so then what you want to do with this, is keep on doing that, go back down, look through the barrel, all the way through, make sure it's still sitting straight on the target, and then adjusting the scope accordingly. And like I say, obviously then you use the, tur the, the turrets to move your crosshairs over. So then eventually what you do, you'll get to the point where you're looking through the barrel, and you'll lift your head and you'll see that the cross the crosshairs are getting close to the tar to the target paper or whatever it is that you're using to zero to um and it's literally as simple as that i mean a close friend of mine told me how to do this so i thought i'd share the the, the good information because it literally saved me a good 10 rounds i'd say um because it was so off when i first mounted the zeiss onto the 243 that i would have been sitting there all day trying to find the paper so yeah bore sighting is definitely the way forward now i'll try and do a quick demonstration to see if you can see through the barrel through the camera just so you can get a rough idea of what i'm saying um but if not then i'll just have a, I'll have a brief description of what to go through all right so i'll just see if i can see through the through the barrel because the bolt was out of the rifle Right, so that you can see the grass through the barrel. 
so then basically you would adjust that accordingly to the target and then obviously just raise it up to look through the scope and back down to look through the barrel to make sure it's still centered to the target you're aiming at and back up through the cross and vice versa literally to the point where you'll then be sitting bang onto the target I mean there's no point in me wasting rounds putting them through the rifle but I basically just wanted to show you that that is how you do bore sight a rifle it is really simple and cut, like I say courtesy to one of my good friends who told me to do this I'm saving myself a load of rounds so give it a go guys any questions obviously leave them in the the comments on the video and I'm always happy to answer any queries that you have cheers for watching guys